My time as a student here was, you know, it's, it's challenging. You're, you're finding yourself um, as, a, as a designer, uh, as a human being, um, you are you know, young and you're learning a fresh skill. Um, I think I was really driven uh, when I was here to know that I wanted to be a lighting designer from day one. Um, and the course really helped me with that. Um, it was molded to each individual, I felt like anyway. Um, and like anything, it's up to the individual to, to seek opportunities out. Um, so I predominantly majored, if you like, in lighting design and did some other minor projects as a production manager so that I still got the overall arc uh, of a production and understood different departments' roles. Um, and I think the, yeah, the conservatory really supported me in that. In my time at RCS, um, you know, your first year was made up a lot of uh, teaching and in classroom learning and designing. Uh, in the second year you explored that a bit further and did some more practical experience maybe. I did a lot of assisting and associate, associating actually which was really important uh, to hone your skills. And then in my third year I think I tried to light everything. Um, I did uh, a straight drama in the ath, did the pantomime, I did some of the contemporary performance practice work in the studios. Um, I even did some music and I did Swing Into Christmas and then the bigger musicals and um, I loved everything about it, the diversity uh, through to the small studio one-man show and it's uh, really important uh, I think to my learning and, and now my skills as a lighting designer that I had that opportunity to work at what I liked, what I didn't like, what I was good at, what I needed to work on um, and I was really well supported at RCS for doing that. Since graduating I haven't stopped working really. Um, um, I predominantly did a bit of production management to begin with to support the lighting design um, because no one I think can just graduate and go I am you know a lighting designer that doesn't that's not how the industry works um, you have to build up a portfolio and you start on different scales um, and you do a variety of, of work throughout the industry and it's about building that that portfolio and um, your skill level up really and so yeah I've lit things like Botanic Lights in Edinburgh and Edinburgh's Hogmanay celebrations for three or four years and yes, Scottish theatres uh, throughout, well, theatres throughout Scotland as well as uh, further afield. I love Glasgow, um, I love it as a place to study and I now live here. Uh, originally from Edinburgh, over on the east coast, um, I migrated through and uh, I haven't looked back. It's always got something going on. Um, when I was a student here, but I spent a lot of time at the Arches, that was a kind of a cultural hub of um, both arts and nightlife. And that, since its closure, um, has split off and diversified into lots of smaller venues. Um, but there's a great range of art that's going on in the city um, from, you know, large scale operas, the Scottish Opera, the Theatre Royal, musicals that tour in, drama, contemporary work is really important to Glasgow. Um, yeah, there really is something for everyone.